All right, so another challenge that we have this year are these pumps. So if you've watched previously, I put the power monitor on, and we discovered that each pump running the way it is right now, which has no VFD on it, it's just running at full speed, uh, is taking almost 12 amps. There's only 40 amps available for this entire building. Uh, and we don't have lane 1 and lane 4 put in yet. So let's see here, 4 times 12 is 48. That's 8 amps too much. So if you've watched the movie Apollo 13, you know when they're up in space, the guy's like, okay, if this little lever goes above red, they all die when they're trying to turn on the capsule again. Um, that's kind of where we're at. So I think, based on talking to family members, that what we need to do is rewire this building. One consideration that we can do um, is we can go to a central pumping station instead of um, four pumps. I'm not a huge fan of that. Um, and I'm going to go over pumping in another video. But right now, let's assume that we maintain four pumps. What we could do, um, right now each lane is on its own circuit so that we can turn off a total lane with one flip of a switch at the circuit breaker box, which I'll show you coming up. What we could do is either dig up the wire that's coming underground, or we can run drops uh, from the ceiling down, and we can put all the pumps onto a single circuit and put a VFD on it. I think that would work, but I'm not an electrician. That was submitted by family members and by electricians as subscribers, so I'm really curious to know your guys' thoughts. Should we take all the pumps, there's gonna be four pumps total, and run wires to them in series, so pump one, two, three, and four, connect them all, daisy chain them together, and put a VFD on them, uh, and create a 240 volt circuit there as well. So we would uh, have to double up something in the box to create that 240 volt circuit. But I think that might be a way that we could actually um, really uh, reduce some of the electrical load on the building. So let me show you the circuit breaker. So I have this open right now so you can see. We have two, four, six, eight, eight breakers. And all but one of them uh, are in use. Uh, let's see here, I'm gonna have to go, I didn't write them down of course, I should have. You have lane one, two, three, and four. Then you have uh, upper lighting. You have uh, power along the side. And there's another power Oh, power going right here to the heater system for the digester and everything. So those are all the ones that we have uh, right now. So we would rewire, redo this whole thing. Um, if we went with the pumps, we're going to have to double up, put double breakers in for some of these 15-amp uh, uh, switches uh, so that we can free up the two spots to create the 240 volt. And remember, heating is something we might have to do. So if we need a 240-volt circuit for just heating, we'll need to take this empty one and double up another one of these uh, 15 amperes uh, with a double circuit breaker that they make um, to get two 240-volt circuits. I think if we did that, we'd probably be so good. So now I'm actually up in the barn. And I wanted to show this to all the electricians out there. This is the actual power supply that is going out to the building. So we're in the barn. This is the barn's main power breaker box. And power is coming in to this breaker from the house. Um, and the house has the main transformer coming from the electrical company. And in order to save money on wires and the fact that we only have so much amperage available, uh, up at so many spots to put breakers up in the house, they're all pretty much filled, um, we ran power to the site from the barn. So kind of just showing you here, power comes in from the house. And then uh, this breaker right here is the actual uh, breaker for the building. So you have your neutral, you have your ground, and then you have uh, two lines uh, going out to the building. So that's the power setup that we have going out there. I'll go out there now and show you how it's all split up. I'm back out of the building now, and I just want to show you where the power comes in and what the plan is here. So here's our power post. And here's the main power shutoff. This is where everything comes in uh, to the building. You see we have a 40 amp breaker on it. There's actually 80 amps available here from the breaker that's up at the barn. That's an 80 amp breaker up at the barn. And this has 40 amps on it because the idea is we could also run from here 
we'd replace this with a, a double uh, version of this. So you'd have two 40 amp breakers. One goes to this building and the other one would go to the second prototype, the second HAB. So we're limited to 40 amps to HAB 1 and 40 amps to HAB 2. Right now I only have 40 amps hooked up for HAB 1, but in the future this would be replaced with a double box. Then those 40 amps come up into the main circuit breaker box for the building. So we have neutral, two lines, and the ground coming up.